She told you the truth. So I told Lucky and Jason that I'm pregnant and they both have said that Lucky's a father. Sorry, I almost blurted the truth. That's okay. No, I'm done. Thought I covered pretty well, didn't you? Brilliantly. But I'm surprised Jason isn't suspicious. If he doesn't know, he has to realize he slept with you around the time of conception. Yeah, but we used something. And he probably doesn't realize that the enduro condoms were defective. Well, what about Lucky? It was spontaneous, and we didn't use anything, and that's probably why this baby is his. So, what do you plan to do? Wait until the paternity test, and if Lucky is a father, then I guess there's no reason to say anything to Jason at all. And if it's Jason's? Elizabeth is a friend. I'll try to help her any way I can. I'm just glad she finally told you. I mean, I get why she kept it quiet. You know, Lucky's battling his addiction. Her marriage is breaking up. It's a lot to deal with. Elizabeth tries to handle everything herself, but no one's in Ireland. There are times that we need to lean on someone else. So if she's allowing you to help her, you ought to step up. I'll try to do that. You need to do more than try. Don't let her push herself too hard. Too much stress isn't good for Elizabeth or the baby. 
sorry to keep you waiting. Um, are, are, you, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. So is the baby. I need to speak to Jason privately. Don't go glaring at me. I was just trying to tell your friend, Mr. Morgan here, that you could use some special care. That he needs to step up. I'm sorry. It's okay. Tiffany's right, though. You really should take it easy. Yeah, I, I will. As easy as I can with a preschooler and a full-time job. Look, I know um, Lucky's the baby's father, and he should be helping you, but he's not available. So let me help you as a, as a friend. Lucky on the pair. Well, I got a call from Lucky. Went to the pier, showed up, pulled a gun on me, threw two bags of cocaine at my feet, told me I was under arrest for possession with intent. Now, obviously, I could tell that he was that he was high, and I was trying to explain to him that it wouldn't work. The charges weren't going to stick. Oh, it's stick is an understatement. Rod Roger has told me that Mac fired him. He didn't even have the power to arrest you. Maybe Lucky thought Buss and me would get reinstated. Yeah, I'm sure he convinced himself that Mac would be so impressed he'd just give him back his job. He's just desperate. Desperate and paranoid. That's when he started accusing me of setting up an ambush, and that's when you ran it. What, what were you doing there? Well, Maxie, of all people, told me that Lucky was coming after you, and I just wanted to stop it. But they shouldn't have taken the risk. Look, never in my wildest dreams did I ever think that Lucky was going to frame you. I don't even recognize him anymore. It's so strange to look at him and to remember how much I, I loved him. Are you sure you want a divorce? I gave him a second chance, and a third, and a fourth, and I just have to stop. I need to do it for the sake of my children. Actually, I need to go back to my apartment. What if Lucky's there? That's what I'm afraid of. The night I left Lucky, I was so rattled. I forgot all of my important papers, and I just been avoiding coming back here because I didn't want to see him. Are you sure you're up for this? I can bring you back here tomorrow. I need to start moving on with my life. I can't put this off any longer. This way. Glad you came back. I'm just eager to grab some papers. I'm going to go check into rehab tonight. I'm going to get clean and sober. And when I come back, I'm going to be ready to be a father to our child. <laughs>